Hello and welcome back to the final module of this course. So far, you have learned some of the important financial concepts that would be useful in your day-to-day -day life and help you build a secure future. In the final module, we will discuss the importance of career building. There is a growing awareness amongst young girls like you to go for higher studies and plan a career for themselves in order to live independently. It is important to have a career and be independent to be able to fulfill your dreams and help your family. However, not too many girls are aware of the various career paths that they can choose from and how to go about planning for the same. Let us see how Gauri and her classmates are planning their career. Seema Rajak, Gauri's classmate, wants to be a nurse. But she opted for humanities stream in class 11. Seema had no idea that she had to study science to pursue a career as a nurse. Similarly, there were other girls who either wanted to join the police force or become a teacher but had no idea about what needed to be done to achieve their goals. We tend to make our career choices based on some role models around us and not necessarily because we are suited for these jobs. Each one of you must be having some liking for a certain activity naturally. For instance, some of you may be good at sports, some love to draw, some enjoy music, while others have a love for books. Each one of you must be having your choice of subjects. Some of you may be fond of mathematics, some like geography or history, yet others may like English or Bengali. You must have realized by now that your nature also differs from each other. Some like to be by themselves, some can make friends easily, some volunteer for tasks around your school, home and locality, while others may be good leaders or ardent followers. You must be wondering why we are discussing these finer details. Well, your nature, likes and dislikes are important when you plan your career. Mind you, you must plan your career in such a way that it is of interest to you. Career is something we pursue for most of our adult life. So, it should be that area of work which you enjoy the most. You should not only enjoy the job but also being in that environment where you are surrounded by like-minded people. For example, if you love drawing, it is better you have a career like a graphics artist, illustrator or any other profession where you can pursue your love for art. If you love music, you can study music and have a career as a music teacher. At the same time, pursue your passion for singing or playing an instrument. So, it is important to understand ourselves first and then start planning for a career. To plan your career, the first thing you need to do is look deeply within yourself and identify your interests, values and skills. And then you can develop these as per your interests. If you plan your career, it is important that you search for details about the profession you like, understand what the work entails and then plan accordingly. Any information you are searching for should have the following details. Identify the career and understand what job role it entails. For instance, if you wish to be a chef, find out what exactly is the job of a chef. Do not choose the career simply because you are interested in cooking. Skills and attributes needed. Understand the personal qualities required for the job. See if you think you are suited for the job. Qualifications. Which stream to study in? What subjects to study in college? What examinations to prepare for? You should have a clear idea about all this while selecting a career. Institutes Which colleges can help you pursue this career? Which would be the fees of the course offered? Organizations Where can you apply for work after completion of your studies? Salary What is the starting salary for the profession of your interest? 
and what is the road map gauri's friend rashmi is fond of drawing and painting and wants to become an animator knowing her interest in fine arts her aunt promised to help her plan a career in animation after rashmi finishes her school girls are curious to know what an animator does rashmi tells them that an animator is someone who gives life to images and makes them move in order to tell a story or to communicate an idea she creates a series of images such as hand drawings models puppets which are displayed in rapid sequence to give the impression of movement animation can be of various types like puppet animation clay animation 2d and 3d animation photoshop and so on rashmi then shares with the class how she carried out extensive research and dug out information to plan for a career in animation i need to have a 10 plus 2 qualification in any discipline and graduation can be done in arts or science or finance as well to get a good job i would require a degree or diploma in animation or if i choose to study any other subject in graduation then i would have to do a post graduation in animation there are some colleges that have a certain list of undergraduate degrees that qualify for post graduation in animation there is a certain set of skills that i am required to have in order to work as an animator for instance drawing paying attention to details and using computers and important softwares i made a list of about 10 colleges across india where i can study animation the career options that i can have after studying animation would include working in the film and television industry advertising agencies multimedia design agencies and animation studios the starting income structure that can be expected as an animator is up to 15000 rupees per month which can easily go up to 25 to 40000 rupees per month over time great job rashmi and thank you for creating an awareness in the classroom about this interesting career of an animator this is exactly the kind of planning and detailing each one of you should come up with that would help you build your career a lot of such information is available on the portal www.educationtoemployability.org click on the career hub and career cards under that you can also visit elearning.wblabor.gov.in for similar information since these portals are available online you will have to register with these portals with either a mobile number or an email id followed by a password one thing that you always need to do while planning your career is to have multiple options say you want to work in the healthcare industry there are many options apart from being a doctor that are linked to medicines dietitian emergency medical technician health information technician radiologist pathologist physiotherapist are a few such examples so even if one profession does not work out you still can follow other career paths linked to medicines therefore you should plan for your chosen career in the following way select the required stream for class 11 and 12 shortlist the professions of your choice shortlist the colleges you plan to apply for list the tests you may have to sit for shortlist scholarships you may need to apply for you can find all of this information online on the internet there are many portals which have detailed answer to all the above questions there are some skills that are useful at any workplace like using computers and softwares and spoken english look for institutes around you which provide such courses and enroll in a course these courses are also available online and on youtube for free these are very helpful if you put in the effort 
you will certainly get results. Armed with all the above information, you can start planning for your career. Good luck! To start with your planning right now, you can do the following things. Make a list of each of the following. Activity of your choice, say drawing. Subjects you like to study, say mathematics. Your value system, say honesty. Skills you like, say typing. Shortlist three careers which interest you. Then find out details of any three careers you may be interested in and note down all the relevant data.